Here we're asked to solve a quadratic inequality. In other words, we're asked to find for what x values will this function be less than zero or negative. We'll solve this using a sign chart. And so the first step is to find the critical numbers. The critical numbers are simply the roots. So we'll set this quadratic equal to zero and then solve. So zero equals nine x squared minus 12 x plus four. This quadratic factors, nine x squared factors three x times three x, two fact, or four factors as two times two, and the inner and outer products add up to negative 12 if they're both negative. And then a negative two times a negative two is positive four. Setting each factor equal to zero, we can see we're going to obtain a double root. In this case, 3x equals 2, or x equals 2 thirds, occurs twice. So really, there's only one critical number. There's only one root here. And that's when x is equal to 2 thirds. Next, we'll construct a sign chart. Now, in this case, because of the inclusive inequality, we'll use a closed dot here at the critical number, two thirds. And that separates the number line into two regions. Next, we'll, text, we'll test values to determine if the function is positive or negative in these regions. So let's begin with x equals one. In this case, f of one will be equal to nine times one squared minus 12 times one plus four, or nine minus 12 plus four, which equals negative three plus four, and that's gonna be positive. In fact, any test value you choose in this region will yield positive results. Next, we'll choose another value here in this left interval, let's say zero, and test that. So in this case, f of zero will be nine times zero squared minus 12 times zero plus four, which equals four. And of course, that's positive as well. So in both the regions, the results are positive. Now we'll use the sign chart to answer the question. Now the question asks, for what values, for what x values is this quadratic less than or equal to zero? In other words, when is it negative or zero? From the sign chart, we can see that it's really never negative, but it is equal to zero actually at that one point there, the root. And so in this case, there's really only one answer, and that is two thirds.